Hi there, thanks for joining us. I'm Chris McKinnon with the WBZ News Update. Stepping up security here in Boston one day after a man tried to set off a bomb at a New York City subway station. The homemade bomb malfunctioned and partially exploded inside the Port Authority bus terminal Monday morning. Police say that device was strapped to the suspect who was injured along with three other people. Investigators say the suspect was inspired by ISIS. They're now trying to figure out if anyone may have helped him plan that attack. The NFL Network has suspended three former NFL players, including a former Patriot, over a sexual harassment lawsuit. Bloomberg reports Marshall Falk, Heath Evans, and Ike Taylor are accused of harassing a former wardrobe stylist at the NFL Network. A wrongful termination case was filed against the network in October, but was amended to include the assault allegations. An autopsy will be done today on a two-year-old boy found unconscious in a Manchester, New Hampshire home. Officials are calling the boy's death suspicious. The New Hampshire Attorney General's Office and Manchester Police have launched a joint investigation there. A car slams into the front yard of a home in Newton. It crashed into a fence, drove across the yard before hitting the front porch of a home on Newtonville Ave. It happened just before 10 o'clock last night. No word on any injuries there. Want to check in with meteorologist Danielle Niles for a look at our forecast today. Kind of a mess in some spots, Danielle. North and west of Boston, Chris, through late morning, we get some slick spots with pockets of snow and the rain snow line lifting from south to north. The uh, good news is the temperature rises above freezing by midday in many areas, and there'll be some rain showers around 40s for highs this afternoon to 50 along the south coast. Even a couple embedded downpours late this afternoon, and then colder air comes in. So it's a coating to an inch mainly washed away along and outside of 495. Could be a couple inches with the high terrain north of Manchester back through the Worcester Hills, right along the Mass New Hampshire border. But the jackpot right where we want it, northern New England for ski areas, which may see over a foot by the time all is said and done today. Brief snow shower tonight as the cold air blasts in. Check out the wind chill forecast tomorrow. Feels like the single digits and teens. This is what you're dressing for for the day on Wednesday. There'll be a little less wind on Thursday, but what I'm watching is a little wave of low pressure passing to our south. It's going to zip on by very fast on Thursday, but there may be a brief snow shower on the Cape and the Islands on Thursday. Cold here to stay to end the week. No big storms, but plenty to watch. There may be another round of some light snow Friday night, Saturday, and Sunday. Both should be in the mid 30s, Chris. Danielle, thank you very much. Remember the winter coat tomorrow, right? I'm Chris McKinnon. This has been a WBZ News Update. Thanks for checking in with us. Have a good day.